Uh, Joshua First, ComedyInsiders.com. I'm here with the champ, champ, as you can see, Luis Palomino, champ, champ. How, how does that sound, man? Yeah, it sounds amazing, man. You know, it's, it's just, you know, it's an honor to be able to fight for this, you know, the new and the old, and, and to be able to do it here in my hometown with my family, you know, my family, my friends, my trainers. You know, it's an amazing feeling. It's unexplainable. You know, when we talked, when we talked last week, man, we were talking about this fight, you, you just seemed really calm, really collected. Uh, that it's it's almost as if you just knew in your head how this fight was gonna go. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we studied, you know, we studied him quite a lot, and we're superior, you know. It, it, that's you know, no disrespect for form of that. I've been doing this for a very long time. I've been in the combat sports for 14 years, and the number one thing that I love doing is trading punches. So, you know, and then I have two masterminds in my corner. You know, I have an Italian American side of boxing, then I have the Cuban side of boxing, yeah. and it's like. Man, I just, I feel unbeatable, you know, like I've improved so much. Every day, every fight, I come better. If Dave keeps me active, he will only keep seeing performances like this. You know, at this age, I feel great, but I got to stay active. So give me that next fight. Was there anything that surprised you that Jim did? No, because I expected him to keep coming forward. You know, I hit him, I hit him with some real stiff jabs. Like he really ran in, you know, it's double impact. You know, one thing is to jab somebody, blap. Another thing is for somebody to walk into the jab you're snapping, and I have a very powerful jab, you know, and then to receive that and keep going forward, I expected that from him. He's a beast, man. Jim's a beast, you know. You know, he's, I'm just a better fighter than he is. That's it. And I, I guess it would have to be kind of like an elephant in the room. I have to get your thoughts. Tyler Goodjohn jumped in the ring almost, like I said, WWE style. Like, like he was running interference and jumped I'm in. I'm not even going to repeat that name. I think it's ridiculous that he was even allowed to come in and, and step into the into this shine that I earned, that I busted my ass for. I think it was very disrespectful. I don't care who he is. He's obviously a nobody, man. Like, nobody knows who this guy is. Comes in here with his tight pants, trying to make a show. Like, for what? Look, I mean, talk to Dave. Dave, you're, you're a very smart promoter. You want to make this dream keep growing big. Who the hell is that guy? No, let's get a big name. Let's get somebody with real skill that's known out there, and let's get a real money fight going, because I'm here to stand for that. Not for no clowns, man. Good. Is there anybody that maybe off the top of your head that you would want? Oh, top of my head, look, Josh Masvidal, you know, they call him the, what they call him, uh, Street, Street Jesus. All right, well, I, I baptize him, you know? So I know that he's still, you know, a little funny about that loss. He can avenge it over here. Maybe he can step in, into the square circle. Nate Diaz, I don't know how he's going with, with UFC. I don't see much activity over there. He loves to box. Let's do Nate Diaz. You know, I mean, any big name. I don't, I don't have nobody in particular, but any big name that's going to keep making this sport grow properly, that's what, not no clown, bro. No clown that has barely even a record. Like, come on, man. You know, let's, let's, get a, let's get a real name out there and let's get a real fight going. Give me a challenge. Well, look, man, we don't want to keep you. We know you got some celebrating to do. Mr. Palomino, we appreciate you, buddy, and uh, congratulations, and uh, go celebrate that victory, brother. Yes, Thank you. Take care.